Ever feel your town is boring? Join Amelia on a surprise school bus ride that reveals hidden gems, local heroes, and makes history come alive. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Amelia groaned as the familiar rumble of the bus engine vibrated through her backpack. Same old scene, shuffle onto the bus, earbuds in, autopilot engaged, until she reached her seat and zoned out. But today, Mr. Johnson, the bus driver with the voice of a grumpy bear, surprised everyone. Hold on to your hats, kiddos. He boomed, a mischievous twinkle in his usually serious eyes. We're ditching the usual route and taking the scenic way today. The bus erupted in a cacophony of cheers and groans. Scenic? Their usual route was a highway nightmare, a blur of strip malls and traffic jams. Amelia peeked out the window, expecting the same old scenery, but instead, the bus turned onto a narrow road lined with towering trees. Sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting a cool, dappled light on the students. Their first detour was a total plot twist. A giant, moss-covered bridge that looked like something out of a history book. Mr. Johnson, his voice surprisingly softer than usual, explained, it was built by Civil War soldiers way back when. They sure took pride in their work back in the day, he said, a hint of respect in his tone. Amelia, usually glued to her phone, couldn't help but stare at the majestic structure. Her curiosity peaked. Next stop, a tiny bookstore tucked away in a quiet corner. A friendly lady, with twinkling eyes, greeted them, the air thick with the comforting smell of old paper. Mr. Johnson explained, she was a local hero, keeping the bookstore alive, even when everyone else was using those fancy e-readers. He encouraged them to explore, and for the first time, Amelia felt drawn to the books themselves, their weight in her hands grounding her in the present moment. In the middle of their adventure, the bus screeched to a halt in front of a hidden gym, a local ice cream shop with flavors that exploded in their minds. Cotton candy swirls, bubblegum blasts, and even a mysterious mystery flavor had everyone buzzing with excitement. With smiles wider than the waffle cones they held, the students devoured their treats and chatted with classmates, the sugar rush, fueling their imaginations for the next stop. As the day went on, the bus transformed into a time machine on wheels. They visited the fire station, where real-life firefighters showed them the coolest fire truck ever. They even stopped by a community garden, where passionate volunteers explained how they grew fresh food right in their own town. By the time Amelia reached school, her head spun with excitement. Her town, once a boring blur, now felt like a treasure chest waiting to be unlocked. Mr. Johnson's scenic route wasn't just about avoiding traffic, it was a mission to open their eyes to the hidden gems and inspiring people right in their own backyard. The next day, Amelia boarded the bus with a newfound sense of adventure in her eyes. Who knew what awaited them today? Maybe a hidden park with a secret waterfall or a local artist showcasing their work in a secret gallery? One thing was for sure, the school bus, once a symbol of routine, had become a portal to adventure, local heroes, and a growing sense of pride in her town. Congratulations on completing school bus adventures! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, groaned to make a deep sound in response to pain or despair. Number two, familiar, well-known or easily recognized. Number three, rumble, a continuous deep, resonant sound. Number four, vibrated, to move or cause to move back and forth rapidly. Number five, earbuds, small headphones that are placed directly in the outer ear. Number six, autopilot, 
performing tasks without conscious thought, often out of habit. Number 7. Zoned out, to lose concentration or become unaware of one's surroundings. Number 8. Grumpy bear, a person who is easily annoyed and grumpy. Number 9. Boomed, spoken aloud, deep voice. Number 10. Mischievous, showing a playful desire to cause trouble. Number 11. Ditching, to abandon or get rid of something. Number 12. Scenic, providing beautiful, pleasing views. Number 13. Erupted, to burst out suddenly and dramatically. Number 14. Cacophony, a harsh, discordant mixture of sounds. Number 15. Peat, to look quickly or furtively. Number 16. Narrow, of small width in relation to length. Number 17. Towering, extremely tall or high. Number 18. Filtered, to pass through a device or substance to remove unwanted material. Number 19. Casting, to throw or direct something. Number 20. Dappled, marked with spots or rounded patches. Number 21. Detour, a longer or less direct way to get somewhere. Number 22. Plot twist, an unexpected development in a story. Number 23. Moss covered, covered with a soft green plant. Number 24. Glued, to be very focused or fixated on something. Number 25. Majestic, having beauty or dignity. Number 26. Peaked, to stimulate interest or curiosity. Number 27. Twinkling, shining with a flickering or sparkling light. Number 28. Fancy, elaborate or decorative. Number 29. Grounding, providing a sense of stability and reality. Number 30. Screeched, to make a loud, harsh, squealing sound. Number 31. Hidden gem, something highly valued and not widely known. Number 32. Exploded, to burst with noise or energy. Number 33. Swirls, spiral patterns or movements. Number 34. Blasts, a strong rush of air or sound. Number 35. Buzzing, making a continuous humming sound, filled with excitement. Number 36. Devoured, to eat hungrily or quickly. Number 37. Hold onto your hats, get ready for something exciting or surprising. Number 38. Tucked away, placed in a hidden or secluded spot. Number 39. Imaginations, the ability to form new ideas or images. Number 40. Glued, to be very focused or fixated on something. Number 41. Grounding, providing a sense of stability and reality. Number 42. Awaited, to wait for something. Number 43. Routine, a regular, habitual procedure. Number 44. Portal, a doorway or gateway, often to something special or significant. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.